word. Frank. It started with the Vietnam War, and it meant killing your own commander. Current school children using the word Frank hardly guess how wild his story is. Frank, an abbreviation of the phrase, a fragmentary grenade. And over time, they begin to designate the murder of their own commander during the Vietnam War. At the very end of the war, there was a hell of a lot going on in the American army. Discipline was bursting at the seams. Many soldiers used drugs, and the conscripts were already outright marginals. Under these conditions, some of the privates went to kill particularly annoying commanders. They just threw them into the tent. The same fragmentary grenade proved that this is not the work of the Viet Cong. It was hard, and the new commander, knowing about the fate of the previous one, it was like silk. Many soldiers like to brag about how much frags they have an account. Most of the time it was empty talk, but in one thing only, 1970, fixed, 321 cases of fragging. The executioner from the famous photo, execution in Saigon, quietly lived out his days in Virginia, and even opened a pizzeria, photo, execution in Saigon. It has become one of the most famous symbols, the Vietnam War, and her cruelty. It depicts the chief of police of South Vietnam, shooting a Viet Cong guerrilla. The photo made a lot of noise at the time. It has been replicated all over the world. And the photographer, Eddie Adams, who made it, won the Pulitzer Prize. The more amazing it is, how the fate of the shooter turned out. Brigadier General Nguyen Ngoc Loan. After the war, he immigrated to the United States and ended his days owning a small pizzeria in Virginia only, which overshadowed his old age. Someone found out the truth after all, and one day he filled the pizzeria with words. We know who you are, South Eddie Adams. Subsequently, he changed his mind about what was happening and apologized to Logan by stating that he had unfairly blackened him with his photograph. One of the heroes of the Vietnam War confessed that he accomplished the feat, absolutely stoked. Sergeant Peter Lemon, he received a medal for bravery, having accomplished an amazing feat. In 1970 years, he served as an assistant machine gunner, guarding a base in the province, Titan, when the base was attacked, killing a lot of Americans. Peter held off two waves of attack, firing back from a grenade launcher, machine guns, and when they failed, from a personal rifle. He threw grenades at the enemy. He was wounded three times. He took out a wounded comrade from under fire. And at the end he ran to finish off the enemy in hand-to-end -hand combat. The sergeant's feet became widely known. And it was widely disseminated in the media. However, Lemon's confession was a blow to the prestige of the army. At the time of the attack, he and his comrades smoked so much cannabis that they hardly understood what was happening. Peter himself told reporters that he considers America an aggressor and added, which, according to his observations, is 90%. All American privates in Vietnam, they smoke marijuana. The American military recorded it, ghost voices, to scare the superstitious Viet Cong. One of the ways of psychological warfare, which the US military used this, ghost voices. The officers found out about that, which is according to local beliefs, and buried soldiers will roam the earth forever, howling terribly, and dragging everyone to the next world. Who gets caught? It was decided to use these legends in the strangest way. Columns were placed around the bases, playing records, ghostly and creepy sounds, many of which were simply taken from horror movies. The operation was named, A Wandering Soul, often used, Buddhist funeral music, and records in Vietnamese on which the supposedly dead soldiers howled terribly, and talking about that, that their comrades in arms will inevitably die. Reception, apparently, had no effect. 125,000 American guys, they immigrated to Canada, hiding from the drift, and half of them liked it more than at home. During the Vietnam War, hundreds of thousands of guys of military age, they tried to avoid conscription in every possible way. It turned out to be the most trouble-free way. Immigration to Canada. It's close. Easy to move in. There is no language barrier. And Canada refused to issue fugitive conscripts. Although in the USA they were considered criminals. When President Carter announced an amnesty for everyone. Who escaped from compulsory military service to another country. Half of all the fugitives returned on the first day. By the way, one of the most famous Canadian draft dodgers. Is the father of cyberpunk. 
William Gibson. Truth, he didn't want to go home. He liked it much more in Canada than at home. The Americans believed that the Viet Cong were afraid of the Ace of Spades. But for the Vietnamese, it just doesn't make sense. Perhaps, you've seen it in movies about the Vietnam War. How American soldiers leave the Ace of Spades on the bodies of the murdered Viet Cong as a kind of brand label. This custom really took place, but it is because of a curious mistake. Once there was a rumor among the military that, that the Vietnamese are insanely afraid of this map, considering it a symbol of death and a bad omen. However, it's just a bike. There is nothing like this in Vietnamese culture. The myth was so persistent that American card manufacturers, they sent whole boxes of aces of spades to the war. The soldiers of the squad, Tiger, they cut off the enemy's ears and they made necklaces out of them. American Special Forces Unit, Tiger, specialized in fighting partisans. Any methods were used, even the dirtiest ones, and cruel. B. 2003 year. Correspondent, Michael Seller, published previously classified data from the Vietnam War. The US Army conducted its own investigations, War Crimes Squad, Tiger, and came to a conclusion. That's most of the rumors about him. Truth, fighters, the Tiger, they cut off the partisans' ears, and they made necklaces out of them. They tortured the detainees, and they destroyed the civilian population in order to intimidate local residents. They were used to clear minefields, forcing them to run over them at gunpoint. Investigation. Michael Seller. It led to a strong public outcry, even after so many decades. However, in the end, no one was punished. In the conclusions of the tribunal, it was about the squad as a whole. Specific names have not been named. A similar example of the bloodthirstiness of soldiers. It is given in an autobiographical book. Old People, Gustav Hesford, on which the film was made. Or Metal Shell. One of the black fighters is there, originally from New Orleans. Chopped off the feet of the Viet Cong. Counting, that's how they get their power. During the evacuation, the Americans threw it away. $47 million in the sea. After the fall of Saigon, in 1975th year, American troops staged a large-scale evacuation of the remaining forces and allied Vietnamese. The operation was named Gusty White, and during its course, they were evacuated within a day. 7,000 people. However, everything was done in such a hurry that there was not enough space on the deck. As a result, the refugees were preferred to helicopters, which were thrown from the deck to make room. Frames with ejection. Iroquois. Overboard the aircraft carrier, they became the most famous symbol of defeat in the Vietnam War. The cost of the cars that went to the bottom, estimated at $10 million. According to the course of those years, adjusted for inflation, and in terms of current money, that's about $47 million. Agent Orange caused mutations of offspring not only in Vietnamese, but also American soldiers. The use of a toxic substance, with a code name, Agent Orange, a well-known fact. During the operation, Ranch Hand, American troops sprayed over 10% of all of South Vietnam, 7 to 7 million liters of herbicide, which was supposed to destroy the jungle, where the partisans were hiding. The consequences for the locals were disastrous. 4 million people were victims. Agent Orange, 3 million, they suffered directly from these chemical weapons, and another million, from congenital diseases. Agent Orange, it has terrible consequences for posterity, causes deformities of the fetal body. But what is much less known is that, that not only the Vietnamese suffered from the toxin, but also hundreds of thousands of American troops. According to statistics, children of Vietnam veterans, they have a three times greater chance of being born with birth defects and diseases. The most dangerous specialization of the Vietnam War not marines or tunnel rats this is helicopter reconnaissance films about the vietnam war give an extremely one-sided view of the war because of them it seems that there is nothing more dangerous than being a marine and almost all of them sooner or later doomed to perish in fact the death rate among the infantry was not so great total two million americans served in vietnam more than 50,000 of them died and 300,000 were wounded. Slightly less Marines are known. Tunnel Rats. Special Forces, whose duties included cleaning the underground tunnels of the Viet Cong. Rats. They were forced to go underground into the enemy's lair, 
with just a flashlight and a gun, bypassing the traps and mines and facing armed enemies, scorpions and snakes. Chances of becoming dead or crippled, here they were equal to 33%, incredibly much by the standards of the Vietnam War. However, most of all losses, apparently, it wasn't the Marines who tolerated it, and tunnel fighters, and the pilots of reconnaissance helicopters. Light helicopters suffered especially, similar to a glass ball with a propeller, Gars H-13. The losses among them were enormous. Military helicopter pilot, Robert Mason, in an autobiographical novel, Chicken and Hawk, gives such an example, in the squadron serving next to him. 14 of the 20 reconnaissance helicopter pilots died less, in less than 6 months. But the most amazing thing about the Vietnam War is, what are the most famous, evidence, her soldiers turned out to be myths. Two thirds of Americans who served, we were volunteers, and when they returned home, they didn't become psychopaths, and drug addicts. Statistics. On the contrary, it says that, what is the number of suicides, unemployed, and there were fewer drug addicts among them, than among those, who did not serve. The image of the Viet Cong soldier also turned out to be a myth. Most of them found themselves in the jungle for the first time in their lives, and she was as scared as the Americans, and they, too, often suffered from traps, but already abandoned by us allies mostly by the Hmong people, and the story is about that, that American soldiers preferred captured ones. Act 47. It also worked in the opposite direction. The Vietnamese themselves, Kalashnikov, there wasn't much, so, they often took captured ones. MS-16, 